back with another video and today we are going to learn how to wear a mekla chador so if you don't know what a mekla chador is it looks like this it has two parts and eventually when you wear it it looks more or less like a sari but it's actually a traditional Assamese dress and this one my mom bought for me so my mom and dad visited Assam and Meghalaya and so this is like an authentic piece and I've never worn it before, okay? That's the funniest part. And I don't know how this looks like even. I hope it will look like a long piece of cloth and I can just wrap it around me. As you can see, this is totally new and I'm opening it for the first time. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm opening this and it's nicely pleated with newspapers and I'm going to start dreaming it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the truth. I was so wrong. This is not the makeup. First time, told you. Okay, so let's back. Okay, so this is a skirt without an elastic. Yeah, got it. So I have to do something with the skirt so that it looks well. Fine. Okay, so this is how it's going to look, and I have to drape it like a sari, and then I have to take pleats. Let's get inside this. Oh, I feel like I'm getting ready for my sacres. Ah, cool. We are inside the makla and now I've got to figure out. Okay, this is not that difficult. I have to just make pleats and until and unless this comes tight around my waist. So let's make pleats. It will go like this and like this so all of the pleats should be of equal length otherwise they won't look good pleat one pleat two pleat three so we just gotta align them all together i think they're pretty much decent a little bit perfect we are all individuals with our own sense of fashion and style so it's just nice style okay now I'm gonna tuck it in. So let's go in like this. And this doesn't look good. So we have somehow managed to wear the nikla and now I'll go with the chador. This is the chador. Wow, it's it's gorgeous, isn't it? Cool. So to manage it easily, I think I'll get some pleats. Like this, and I'm going to get a length which is not too long, neither too short. I think something near my knee is perfect. So I'm going to put it over here and now the remaining part I'm going to drape it around me like a sari like if you would have done it it was a sari so it goes like this so this is the lower portion of the chador which gives you that authentic mikla look so I'm going to bring it over like this okay it's going to be parallel to this and then I have to make a triangle so just bring it down like this cool and now all I have to do is just tuck this guy in over here and just manage each other cool so this is more or less how you have to wear a mekla chador or rather how I wore mekla chador for the first time. I'm going to tame it up with a matching blouse and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with the final look. I have worn a matching blouse and yes, I did tighten up the pleats a bit and this is how the final mekla is going to look. And if 
you haven't seen my Durga Puja lookbook, do take a look. I'll put the link over here or in the description box and feel free to comment on how you like it. Thanks. Bye.